Hello everyone, Sadi here back again with another video. In this video, we're going to learn about event loop. So, what is event loop in Node.js? So, maybe you have not idea. If you have any also idea, it's a get get. So, I'm going to uh, explain you about the event loop. So, event loop is never ending process. So, suppose uh, we have the multiple tasks we providing the particular one by one something. So, Node.js will be execute first in first out process because this is a asynchronous uh, programming language. So, like and this is also not blocking input output operations. So, single thread and other program programmings like as multi threading. So now here uh, one more one more things is very important to understand here. This will be execute one by one and uh, other some process will be take time. Uh, will take times like a uh, call by function so I am going to show you realistic example to how to uh, write event loop functions so let's start with the uh, event loop so suppose I have I'm going to remove this code again so I'm going to remove this one we have the file app.js okay so inside of the app.js file I'm going to create one constant uh, variable with the name of fs which is the uh, i'm going to import some package which name is fs so this is the file system basically okay so now this is done now i'm going to create again one constant variable which will name something uh, file name I'm going to put here and inside of the file name i'm going to put any file which i'm going to like index.txt this is a file and i will create also this file same suppose uh, i'm going to use next terminal and inside of the terminal i'm going to use touch index.txt okay so now you can check we have the index.txt file and uh, now I am I have here created one uh, basically one uh, variable name of the file name and inside the file name I have put it uh, this link and uh, now here I am going to use like fs means file system this is this one constant variable we have created fs dot okay watch this is a predefined functions okay so watch and inside of the watch i'm going to use file name this is basically this one we have created this one file name and after that we am going to use as a, a bracket inside of the bracket i am going to send console.log something okay let me do that console.log file change okay let me run again this one okay so I am going to inside of the file look here we have a, I'm just putting out this multiple time fs fs and things we got the result here so why just because of the event loop we getting a, um, alert here so this is the realistic example of the event loop and if you have any doubt related to this video please comment on comment section definitely i will try to um, explain you more in more videos in more videos and uh, if you have any if you want to any programming uh, any kind of programming like python php node.js just comment on comment section i will make another if you have any doubt please comment on comment section definitely i will try to resolve your query uh, if you want more video please comment on comment section which type of video you need definitely i will try to make thank you for watching